Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I hope you enjoyed the video and you decide to subscribe. And if you're a current subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much. Today I'm going to do a recipe and um, since it's Thanksgiving, this is something I think a lot of us make at Thanksgiving time and it's cornbread. If you make cornbread dressing, you have to have cornbread, right? <laughs> this recipe that I'm going to use is my mom's and I the name of it on my recipe card is mom's cornbread. It is from scratch, but it's not hard. And I don't know if she got the recipe from my granny or what I just know that I got the recipe from her. And like I said, it's not hard. It's very easy. Now, for the best results, you want to use an iron skillet, a big one, like this is a, a large recipe. Now you can cut the ingredients at half, which I often do when I make uh, cornbread just for, just for Michael and I like to eat with beans or stew or whatever. I just cut the recipe in half and I'm going to put the half uh, measurements on here as well because I like to have those handy. Um, so you can either make a large portion or the half portion I usually put in a 9 by 9 square pan or you could use a 9 by 9 round pan. But um, for best results you want to um, preheat the oven preheat at 400 degrees and I like to um, Grease the pan with Crisco. How do you spell it? It's just C R I S C O or any kind of. Um, uh, I use the one in the tub, the white stuff. <laughs> um, white shortening, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but I mean, it's, we call it, I just grease the skillet. And then I go ahead and put it in the oven to warm up. So you want to heat it up before you pour the cornbread in it. Now you don't have to do that, but you will, the crust will come out so much better if you do. So we'll go back up to ingredients. It's super easy. Um, it's one and a half cup or for the half three quarter cup of flour. And I usually mix the dry ingredients and then add the wet ingredients. And then two cups or one cup of cornmeal. See if I can spell and get this written down. And I will type this out and put it down in the description so y'all don't have to sit here and try to read my, my chicken scratch. And then you want one teaspoon or a half teaspoon of salt. And then, um, okay, the recipe calls for one third cup of sugar. However, when I make cornbread for dressing, um, I don't put that much sugar um, because I don't like to have the, I don't like it for it to be sweet. So um, I'm going to put for dressing. And usually I just sprinkle some in there. I don't measure it, but I will, I'll put one tablespoon. Okay. So, um, and then you want eight teaspoons or four teaspoons of baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. And then, um, four eggs or two and either two cups or one cup of milk and either one third or one quarter of vegetable oil. Okay, 
and that's it. And like I said, I mix the dry ingredients together, and then I add the wet ingredients. And I usually just use a whisk and just kind of, I don't beat it, but I just get it all incorporated well. You don't have to mix it until it's smooth. It's okay if it's a little bit lumpy. Then you want to pull your pan out of the oven, pour the batter in there, stick it back in there. Um, let's see. Add... Well, I guess I need to mix all ingredients first. <laughs> I rarely actually use the directions. I, I know how to do it. I just I just need the, the measurements of everything. And add mix to hot pan. And then you're going to bake it um, for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, and that's it. You pull it out and then you can just let it cool, do whatever you want to with it. I'm going to put some washi tape on here to just decorate this up a little bit. And I keep losing my stuff here. Um, and if you're using it to make dressing, I like to make it the night before because you want it to be just a little bit dry so that it will soak up the um, you know the chicken stock or the turkey stock or whatever it is that you use we use a mixture of turkey stock and um, or you know drippings from the turkey and chicken stock and let's see I'm gonna put some stickers on here um, let's see this one came from this little book it's an old one this kitchen is seasoned with love and then we'll add I'm just gonna put family favorite up here. I'm putting my mix, mix there. These and then these came from the food sticker book. But yeah, I usually um, bake it the the night before, and I'll go ahead and break it up and put it in the pan that we're gonna make the dressing in, and that way it can dry up a little bit. And then the first thing I add to it the next day is the chopped onion. And then it gets that onion flavor all in that cornbread really, really good. And um, if you're interested in my dressing recipe, I can try to put it together and put it down in the description. Just comment below if you would like to, to take a look at that. Um, I don't, we don't measure anything when we make the dressing. Um, <laughs> it's just kind of, it's something that's been in our family for a long time and we just, we all know how to do it. <laughs> but I can try to tell you how to make it if you're interested. So if you are, just comment down below and I will do the best I can to tell you how I make it. Um, but that's it. Just, we just used a few stickers here and make some homemade cornbread. And another tip that you can do is, um, you know, just to make, have it like to make, you know, with dinner, with stew, I'm going to start mixing the dry ingredients and having those ready, like packaged in a Ziploc or something, and what we all have to do is pull them out, like basically like you do with a mix, and add eggs, milk, and vegetable oil, and you're good to go. I think I'm going to start doing that. So that's another little tip. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. This week is going to be a little bit hectic because I'm on vacation, but I promise I will get back to you. You can also find me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Those are down below or on the, my channel page. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell if you'd like to receive notifications. That's all I have for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.